Hey guys, it's Libby and that is Zoe. Today we are here to wrap up this little trilogy of the event that is happening. I don't even know what to call it. I have no idea. Um, so yeah, before I dive into the content of this video, I want to explain why I'm not signing. I explained it at the end of my last video, but some people I think didn't get to the end before they were mad at me for not signing. So I've got a few reasons why I'm not signing. Number one, um, I don't want to be made fun of. Number two, I don't want people saying I'm doing it for clout when I'm not. I'm just trying to make this video accessible. And then number three, I'm sure people would be like, your ASL sucks. Which I guess kind of goes with number one. So, I think it's better if I just speak and add captions. Which, so on YouTube, the only way you can add captions, I think, is after the video is uploaded and processed. I don't think I can um, add the captions before then. So, yeah, and, and I haven't been able to find a good captioning software um, that I like. So, yeah. Um... So that's why I'm speaking and that's why the captions have a bit of a delay from when I post the video to when the captions are posted. I found that like it takes about two to three times as long as the video length is to add the captions. So if this is a five minute video, it'll take me 10 to 15 to 20 minutes um, to do the captions. So that said, let's get into the meat of this video. Um, I know plenty of you guys are still interested in ASL content. I'm stopping, but you guys still want it, right? Right. So I've compiled a list of 10 different deaf creators, deaf and hard of hearing creators. I believe one of them is a coda, but I included him just because I really like his content, but I think the rest of them are all deaf. But don't quote me. Um, but I've made a short list of some deaf creators. These are their Instagram handles, not like their YouTube channel or anything. Some of them do have YouTube channels, some of them don't. So, um, some of them have TikToks, you know. Um, but yeah, so basically, I've made a short list of some creators. However, if you know of any more that you love, then leave them down in the comments and. Um, then other people can find them and explore those creators as well. So I just came up with 10. I could have kept going on and on and on, but I mean, I wanted this to be like a concise list. So yeah. So first one I'm gonna say is definitely dope. That's D-E-A-F-I-N-I-T-E-L-Y-D-O-P-E. -E. Definitely dope. Um, and then there's Shaheem, S-H-A-H, E E M, and both of them often do um, music with sign language. So if you're interested in that, then definitely check them out. Uh, another one that I love because I think it's amazing because I love drag is Deafies in Drag. So that's D E A F I. Oh wait, no. Oops. D uh, <laughs> D E A F I E S I N drag I almost did just deaf and drag um, so deafies in drag um, they do like skits and stuff like that comedy and such um, in drag it's great um, next one is Aaron L 1985 so a a r r o n l 1985 so um, he he does music sometimes too so if you like music, you can check him out, but I think he got, he posts like other content sometimes too. Um, next one is Free Love 19XX, so F R E E L O V E 19XX. And she does music sometimes, she does like skits and things like that. She was the one who posted a clip of the song WAP, um, and Cardi B retweeted it. Woo woo, that's so amazing. Um, and yeah, so she does a lot of cool stuff. I, I enjoy her content. Next one is clever underscore Trevor with two R's at the end of Trevor. Um, he posts, I'm pretty sure he's the coda. Sorry, my memory kind of sucks, but I'm 99% sure that he's the only coda I included. Um, he does music and stuff like that as well, so check that out. Next account is deaf.that, so D-E-A-F 
dot t h a t that um a lot of like comedy like like they're kind of like tiktoks is what it reminds me of so just like short little clips of like funny stuff stuff like that um next one is deaf family matters so d e a f f a m i l y m a t t e r s so deaf family matters i'm trying to remember cuz i i just found her account recently someone showed it to me um what was it what did she do um she used asl that's what i remember <laughs> so um her content you can learn a lot from her because she's using asl and she uses like casual asl you know what i mean like she shows you signs that you wouldn't find in your asl one class you know like so yeah it like more like like sometimes slang sometimes just like like conversational stuff like it's really good i remember like when i came across her account i was like ooh, i like this this is great so yeah next one is signed with heart so s-i-g-n-e-d-w-i-t-h-e-a-g-e -E 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 -E. <laughs> okay sorry i i lost track of how many h's i did so <laughs> signed with Art. <laughs> um, she does like little clips doing like um, teaching words it's it's more on the basic like beginner level so if you're new she's a great account to follow she also does like fingerspelling receptivity practice which is a great skill for everybody to practice so definitely check her out um, for that reason if anything um, but she seems like so sweet too I don't know something about her she just seems so sweet um, anyways Next one is deaf underscore life underscore, so D-E-A-F underscore L-I-F-E underscore. So um, that was my final account. She also does more kind of like teaching videos, showing you signs, things like that. Um, yeah. And yeah. So yeah. Those are 10 accounts that I think are great. There's plenty more, obviously. Um, but those are 10. So check them out. Check them out. Why not? Wait, what you got to lose? Um, because all along, people have told me, shine the light on deaf creators. Which I didn't do super often because I guess I only thought I would give out shout outs to people I'm friends with because then I know they'd be okay with it. Because I know there are deaf people who don't like me and I'm like hesitant to give out a shout out to somebody I know hates me or something like that or that I don't know who hates me. So, <laughs> but here I am. If any of them hate me, ah, but yeah. Um, if you're interested in learning sign language, the best way to do that is through immersing yourself in the community or from a deaf teacher deaf or hard of hearing teacher a native signing teacher the reason that is is because they understand all of the linguistic nuances all the little things like like me picking up things like from a language like i know a lot i know a lot of you're all gonna say no you know nothing but i know a lot and um like there's still so much i don't know all my friends who graduated from the interpreting program, they are ready to go as interpreters. You know, they are on on it. But there's still plenty they don't know. You know, like, you've got to be, this has to be your language for you to really know it. You know what I mean? So, that said, I highly recommend um, lifeprint.com. I've always recommended lifeprint. I think lifeprint is a great resource. I still use it myself. Um, and then Bill Vickers is the guy who runs it. B-I-L-L-V-I-C-A-R-S, Bill Vickers. Um, he's got a YouTube channel where it looks like he, he's like a, a professor in a college and it looks like he's just straight up recording his class lectures. I don't know if that's actually what he's doing. I don't know if he does the videos separate of class or not, but um, it kind of looks like this is his class PowerPoint and he's going through it with you, you know? So that's like amazing. Like it's like essentially a free college course for you. Whoa. So I think he's great. Another resource I like a lot is Handspeak. Um, so H A N D S P E A K, hand speak. Um, they're also I, I think I'm pretty sure um, they're um, run or like the people showing the words and stuff 
are deaf I'm pretty sure from what I've like seen I'm pretty sure they're deaf a website like signing savvy I don't recommend as highly because I think they're just interpreters I don't think that they're deaf so it's not as good um, but yeah so um, if you're interested in more ASL content, those are 10 amazing creators. If you're interested in learning, that's how you should do it. But of course, immersing yourself in a culture is always the best way to do it. I remember like my Spanish teacher in high school, she said that she spent um, like a semester in Mexico and then bam, like she was fluent. You know what I mean? Not, you know, like you know what I mean. Like using the language, being forced to use the language and forced to figure things out, being forced to learn, all kinds of stuff all the time that's the way you learn you know so yeah so I don't know I don't know that's that's my two cents there um, yeah yep that, I think that's all I have to say so um, here I am shining the light the light oh, you know what I mean um, yeah so one thing that I like I'm genuinely confused and like stuff about like that I don't understand and that I would like to understand so if you're deaf or hard of hearing please explain it in the comments um, I'm I learned like in classes and I learned from you guys telling me the deaf people don't want or need help they don't like there's nothing wrong with a deaf person they don't need help from hearing people they don't need help like sure they need someone to interpret a language for them but that's not like helping them that's just facilitating a conversation <laughs> do you ever like just choke on your own tongue <laughs> anyways um they don't need someone to help them you know what i mean like they don't need helpers and um the people who are their allies they don't need help so I guess I also kind of viewed me giving them shout outs as help you know what I mean like they don't need me to like like was the word I'm looking for like promote that's probably the word I'm looking for they don't need me to promote their channel because they don't need that help from me as a hearing person I guess I kind of understand the argument of, well, you shouldn't have this platform, so you've stolen opportunities from deaf people, therefore you're kind of giving them those opportunities back, like opportunities I have taken, then by giving a shout out, I'm giving it back, like is that, is that the, like, the answer to my question, is that, I think, because that makes sense, like I see where that's coming from, but if there's a different answer to that question, please hit me up down below I'm genuinely like, curious like I don't understand exactly unless it's what I just said unless it's because I stole the opportunity so now I'm giving it back so if that's it then okay I, I see what you're saying um, but if that's not it then hit me up um, yeah so wow this video turned out so much longer than it needed to be I am so sorry I just talk and talk I guess um, but yeah so anyways this is Zoe Zoe oh Look how pretty! Look how pretty! Oh, oh, oh! She's so pretty! She's so pretty! Uh. Anyways, ooh, we're a little tilted. Whoop, 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 whoop! Okay. Oh, this is my aloe. My camera sits where my aloe normally sits, so I have to move my aloe to film a video. My aloe's not okay. Plant people, tell me this. My aloe. It's turning, oh, it's, you can't see on the outside. It's turning like a reddish, brownish, oh, it's like it's not showing the true color. Show the true color. It's turning, see that, like that, ow, it's hurting me. This like reddish, brownish color, and the way it's getting all crispy at the ed, at the tips of it, like that just broke off, like, like what is, what is that about? And like this one, this, this one right here, just totally crispied up, what's that about? I don't know. So if you're a plant expert in this one too, it totally crispied up. So what the fuck? Tell me. If you know anything about aloe plants, what did I do wrong? <laughs> I had an aloe plant for years that was doing good. And now this, this is what I get. So if you know anything about plants and aloe, let me know why it's doing that because I am sad about it. But yeah, so.
बाय